expression for the equilibrium constant for the following equation. Okay, so we have uh, carbon solid plus carbon dioxide gas, and that gives you two carbon monoxide gas, and they tell you the change in heat is greater than zero, and they want a KC expression to start with. Now, uh, not all gases, we have one that is a solid, so we must be careful not to put that into our uh, KC expression. Yes? So the Ford reaction cools down. Okay, now it's 7A that asks there. Initially, you have so much of carbon, so much of carbon dioxide in a sealed container. After reaching equilibrium, um, the content of that is 2 moles. And they ask you, calculate the KC for the reaction. So they say, at the beginning you have that, at the end you have that. So that is your clue that you must do a mole table. Okay, so we have carbon plus carbon dioxide gives you two carbon monoxide. If you check, you can see it's balanced. The mole ratio is one to one gives you two. And I'll highlight that a color to know that is just my recipe. Then I have my beginning values, my change and my end. And since you're on matric, you know that you have a last row that you add to that that gives you the concentration of. Okay, and I write my formula so long because I know I'll get a mark for the formula. Concentration is mole over volume. All right, other things that I have in there, they tell me here I start with 24 grams of that. And I start with three moles of that. So I can put in the three moles, but the grams I cannot put in just yet because you must convert it into moles. Okay? So moles is mass over molar mass. The mass is 24. The molar mass of carbon is 12. So that gives you two. So you put it two moles in there. Another thing that you should know by now is that your beginning value of your products is always zero. You always start with a zero of that. Then they tell you, if you read in the question, they say, um, at equilibrium, the container contains two moles of carbon monoxide. So at the end, you have two moles of that. Okay, so that is everything that they gave you. Remember, here we do not have a limiting reagent. Nothing is used up completely because this is a reversible reaction. As you produce of this, you get of that. So nothing will be zero at the end ever. Okay, let's check. This was plus two. You can see the mole ratio is two to one. So this means minus one, minus one. So here we have one and here we have two. Now we must calculate the concentration. Concentration is mole divided by the volume and they tell us at the question the volume is 10 decimeters cubed so it's 10 liters we're fine with that okay so this gives you 0 0.2 this gives you 0 0.2 hey and then what is fault <laughs> What? It will defend the All right. So, then, this concentration we do not fill in for a sweet. Tell me, why do we not fill in that concentration? Because no, not because you don't need it. What did you want to say, Canelo? Is it because it's a solid, no more? No, it's not. No, it's because it's a solid and a solid concentration cannot change. All right. They ask you, thank you, they ask you to calculate the KC value. I don't have space, so I'm just going to say, say we need that. See how more. Guys, if you don't understand, this is important work. Keep quiet. Do your work. 
Okay, we need to fill in the values. I'm not going to rewrite the formula now because I don't have space. Remember, when you fill in the uh, formula, the sub you substitute it, the square brackets becomes the round brackets. Okay, and without a calculator, you should be able to do that. For sweetie. No. Not for a sweetie. 0 0.2. And remember, this is a ratio. It doesn't have a unit. Okay, right. Now, the ask the question B. What can you deduce from the statement? So, what can you get from the statement? So, I'm going to just page on. What can you get from the statement that triangle H is greater than zero and Vanelli did answer that? The forward reaction is an endothermic reaction. Right, and then question C, the ask, how can you increase the value of the case, the value of Kc? Can you change your concentration? No, that shifts the equilibrium, but it doesn't change Kc. You do something with the temperature, what? Increase or decrease it? The forward reaction is endo, you must increase the temperature. You must do the reverse, the opposite. No, no, increase temperature. Okay, right, then question eight. They say that for the reaction, and they give you calcium carbonate, Solid becomes calcium oxide solid plus carbon dioxide gas. Immediately you see solid, solid, be careful, careful. All right. They say an equilibrium um, exists in a sealed container. Then they give you the volume there of 0 0.2 decimeters cubed. And they said 800 Kelvin. They say originally we had 50 grams of that. It's placed in, in the container, and then at equilibrium, it was measured that you had 10 grams that remained. So you can see they give you both at the beginning and at the end, mole table. They give you grams. Are you allowed to fill in grams in your table? No, you have to convert it into moles. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to... Can I do it on the side here? Okay, so we must go from moles, mass over molar mass. So this was 50. Now the molar mass of marble, I know of Bahad now, is 100. Okay, so, but you know how to calculate it, eh? Alright, so that gives you 0 0.5. And that 10 will be 10 divided by 100, so that gives you 0 0.1. <coughs> Okay, so we have 1 to 1, 1 gives you 1 to 1, that is my recipe, I have beginning, change, end, and then I have concentration, and concentration is mole over volume, you must please put up your hand if I lose you somewhere. You don't know where I get what value from or what, what, what. Okay. I know at the beginning here I have 0 0.5 and at the end I have 0 0.1. I just calculated that. Beginning I have 0 of this and 0 of that. So the difference here is 0 0.4. <clears throat> The mole ratio is 1 to 1 to 1. So here I add 0 0.4 and I add 0 0.4. So at the end, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. And I have to go calculate concentration. Because this is a solid, I do not calculate the concentration. Because it's a solid, I do not calculate the concentration. So I only calculate the concentration of the last one. They tell me the volume there is 0 0.2. Five. So what is it? Zero point one. Zero point zero one. Oh, yeah, sixteen. One point six. Guy, <laughs> okay. did you check me? 
All right. Now they ask you at question 8a, they ask calculate the equilibrium constant. The equilibrium constant, so Kc. Now, because those two are solids, they don't go into your Kc expression. And carbon dioxide is a gas, it's your product, so it's just the concentration of carbon dioxide, which is 1.6. Okay, this question will count, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks. Okay, because it's not the first time that you're doing it. So it's the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, next one, question B, they say, if the reaction above is endothermic, how will the value of the equilibrium constant change at 600 and why? So this is those four bullet points, five bullet points that you're going to mention. So we are at, or we were at 800 Kelvin, and now we're changing it to 600 Kelvin. And they tell you that this reaction is endothermic. All right, so that's all the information that they give you. Your first bullet point is always the obvious thing. What did we do? We decreased. So there was a decrease in temperature. Then the second bullet point is that according to Le Chatelier's principle. Okay, so let's practice writing that down again because it was weekend. According to Le Chatelier, the reaction will oppose, oppose Nearby increasing the temperature. Okay, so if we increase the temperature, it means thus the exothermic reaction will be favored. Okay, then you pause. You say, all right. We'll be favored. Okay, then you're going to state the another obvious thing. The Ford reaction was endo, so it means the reverse reaction is exo. The reverse reaction is exo. Okay, so we have exo will be favoured, reverse is exo. So that means thus the reverse will be favoured. Oh, I can have an apple with you. Yeah, that's it. Yes, but not in my class. All right. <laughs> I get an apple key with you to school. I have an apple to peel with you. <laughs> we have some business that we must discuss. Okay, all right, thank you. Shh, shh, shh. I can also speak to your chat. I still want to chat with you. All right, thank you. Shh. So, the question was, what will happen to the equilibrium constant? So, because the reverse reaction will be favoured, the concentration of the products will decrease, and that is why the Kc value will decrease. Okay. Grade 12. Your homework. Is number 9. Only number 9. All right. Because we must move, because we still have to revise electrostatics from... Grade 11, and we still must do one more chapter.